I suppose now we're in a situation we're building grass for next spring, so we started doing that in uh, mid-August. Farm cover at the minute is uh, around a thousand. Um, probably if there was September is an exceptional month for growth, late August, September. So we've more grass maybe than what we, we didn't have to panic on building grass. Um, we, we close the farm, we have no date in our head for closing, but we'll start closing paddocks maybe around the 1st of October. And the minute we hit 650 of a farm cover, we're gone. It's not, we don't have a housing date, it's when the farm hits 650, we're gone. Like For the previous two years, we've been doing selective dry cow therapy. The first year we actually uh, only had to use uh, sealers in 50% of the herd due to the low cell count. We set targets for that, that we, anything under um, 70 of a somatic cell count only got a teeth sealer. Last year we upped that slightly because we, we were getting real good results, no issue with them cows the following spring. Last year we upped it to 100, anything under 100 only got a teeth sealer. And back again in spring 17, no issues. The only issues that we had was with heifers. We'll probably change that slightly, heifers were reared on, on straw beds prior to calving. We're going to put them on cubicles this year and hopefully that might help the heifers with cell count. But cows, no issue. And we're, we upped that last year to 70% of the herd got uh, only teeth sealers with anything under 100 of a somatic cell count. Yeah, we, we do the milk samples for culture as well. Um, and we'd, we'd also rec obviously record the cows during the year that had uh, cell count issues. But this year we've only had five or six cows with issues. And we'll record them and have a look at them on the milk record as well, see if they're dropping, whether they need um, a good antibiotic for the dry cow to recover them for next spring. So that we, we'll do that. The only thing I'll say to you about milk country, you have to be really hygienic when you're taking the sample. And that if you are, that will give you a really good uh, result back of what um, you're dealing with on your farm. So it, there's no point in just going in and buying the dearest tube available. Right? Thinking that, right, this is what the herd needs. Maybe you don't need to spend that money, maybe there's something else, a lesser tube, but you won't know that unless you do your milk culture, and that will tell you what you need to fight.